Good morning, Village School, and welcome to our live newscast. We hope you enjoyed your long weekend. Your newscast is our Daniel from Mrs. Macaron and Ms. Halper's class. And also Gayatri from Ms. Macaron and Ms. Halper's class. Today is a Tuesday, January 19th, 2010. It is a day four. Think about what Martin Luther King meant when he said, I have a dream that my four children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, by, but by the content of their character. And now for your up-to-the-minute weather. Today is expected to be sunny. The current temperature is 27 degrees Fahrenheit. The high is expected to be 42 degrees Fahrenheit. The low, the low this evening will, will be 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Tomorrow is expected to be partly sunny. There will be outdoor recess today, conditions permitting. Today's lunch will be bre baked breaded chicken patty on a whole wheat bun. At this time, please stand for the flag salute. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag. As you, you have, as you have probably heard by now, a powerful earthquake has earthquake hit Haiti last week. It is a terrible tragedy, tra tragedy that has killed and trapped many people. Haiti needs a lot of help. We are starting a, a school-wide fundraiser to send money to the Red Cross to support the people of Haiti. We are asking the students of Village School to put extra change into the wishing well in the cafeteria for the Red Cross relief effort. The wishing well will be, av will be available for the rest of the month of, month of January. If you or your parents would like to contribute bills or checks they can be given to your classroom. Please consider donating to this important cause. And now for the sports report. There are a lot of football te teams green with envy as the Jets upset the Chargers beating them 17 to 14 and move one game closer to the AFC championships. The Jets will take on the Colts this weekend and the winner goes to the Super Bowl. We would like to thank Ms. Macro and Ms. Halper for their help with the news this week. Let's take a look at a short segment of Dr. King's famous I Have a Dream speech. Five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation. I open my mouth to the Lord and I won't turn back. I will go, I shall go, to see what the end's gonna be. Well, who's that yonder dressed in red? This nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream. One day on the Red Hills of Georgia, sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood? I have a dream. My poor little children one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream today that freedom ring and if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring. That is still a very powerful and inspirational speech after all this time. So for the VES News Network, this is Guy Tree signing off. And Daniel signing off. Tune in tomorrow for another exciting edition of VES News. Have, Have a, a terrific, terrific Tuesday. Tuesday.